Hi and welcome to the Market Alert uh, for Thursday the 3rd of August 2023. So yesterday's uh, carnage following the downgrade by uh, Fitch, uh, banks, bonds and big tech, black gold and bullion battered. Uh, they were certainly right about the metals uh, being battered. Uh, absolute carnage, monkey hammered. But uh, then again, what a surprise, eh? Not at all. As uh, I mentioned yesterday, they would do that. Volatility spikes as fear returns. And U.S. stocks and bonds declined after U.S. rating downgrade, AMD earnings and hot ADP for yesterday as well. So more rate hikes to come then. So U.S. rating downgrade, hot ADP and disappointing AMD earnings weigh on sentiment. Economic news today, just the main event really. Interest rates to rise in the U.K. from 5% to 5 and a quarter. That's at midday. Old Bailey's going to be speaking at 12.30 p.m. there. So uh, 1.30, we've got uh, unemployment claims, weekly ones, and then services, uh, ISM services at 3 p.m. So let's uh, crack on. Let's have a look at uh, the Dow, see where it traded during yesterday. So as we can see, a bit of weakness there for the Dow. And first time, really, in the last few days, uh, market showing a bit more weakness overnight there. I think they were determined to get this back to the all-time highs, but so far it's uh, being uh, rudely interrupted by uh, Fitch. So uh, yesterday we are down in the electronic, the market came back in the electronic, and then uh, down in the cash market. Overnight uh, the market uh, struggling with the close. Watch yesterday's low, it's going to be an important area, and it doesn't help the fact that uh, it's going to be the 14th rate rise by the Bank of England in succession later today. In the German DAX, further weakness yesterday, the market trading down to uh, this level here. Let me just move that over so you can see we've got uh, 15,994. We came down to the 16,000, went below it, came back, but overnight the weakness is persisting and also we're below the 50% retracement from there back to there. So watch the 62, 78 and 89 on the downside here. Straight off from the future session yesterday, the market down, finding support at the S2 and then bringing the market back, but failing to hold as the S1 became a resistance area. Market down, same in the afternoon, sideways, overnight, a bit of movement there, but watch yesterday's low. If we go back to the daily chart, because if we take this low out, which is, just for reference, is going to be 15, well, make it... Uh, 15,950. So it'll be the next uh, blue line down. So this one here, which is just at uh, that low, the psychological level. So watch that very carefully because the market will need to hold there. Five minute chart uh, overnight. So you can see we've had a bit of a, a rally to the upside, but now we've got some uh, weakness there as well as prices are sideways need to get back above uh, the close of yesterday there as well in order to move back to the upside in the s p two days of weakness uh, trading down towards 50 percent retracement from there to there uh, market needs to hold at the 50 percent retracement level if it is to uh, find support and move back to the upside yesterday we had a bit in the morning but then we sold off and uh, continued with the bad news, the ADP numbers, etc. And then sideways uh, here as well, below the close. Again, watch the low of yesterday, very important level. The FTSE 100 back to 62% retracement from there back up to the top and retracing down to this level. Be careful of this level. Bit of selling around there yesterday as well, but uh, certainly. Uh, um, a close below the 50 and the 20 uh, MA there as well. A 30 minute uh, cascade off a cliff, waterfall straight down to S3, market find support there, bring the market back. It's been in a sideways range since. Watch the low of yesterday, needs to stay above the close, the DP and also the 50 EMA. In the US dollar, moving up strongly. As uh, can be seen uh, yesterday, this obviously causing a lot of problem for the metals, which uh, we'll take a look at now. So kicking off with silver, absolutely monkey hammered yesterday. As I said in the alert, they were going to bring it back to the 200 MA. That's certainly going to happen today, if not, if not lower. And then we're going to attack the $23 per ounce level. Incredible 
sixty uh, percent cheaper than nineteen seventy nine and twenty eleven is uh, the monkey hammering. It was already uh, showing weakness, so they just thrashed it at uh, one thirty. More of that to come. I'm not going to be happy until they get it down to uh, twenty dollars. Uh, in the gold market, also the same. They don't want this above uh, 1950, let alone 2000, as the central banks continue to accumulate gold. You can see there any excuse to hammer it to the downside. And it's uh, the irony that uh, Fitch downgrades the US, so it should have a negative impact on the dollar. It has the opposite. So if that isn't blatant manipulation for you, I don't know what is. And in the gold-silver ratio, moving sharply to the upside, that means silver's getting thrashed which we know it is, and it's going a lot lower if it's going to go back to uh, the sort of area of 86 to 85 there. Silver coins to one ounce of gold. So there we go. Let's see what uh, Bailey does today at uh, midday and then what he's got to say at 12.30. I certainly won't be watching, uh, that's for sure, uh, because you can't believe a single word these people say. Right, that's it uh, for this one. Have a great day, and as ever, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.